Hello, hello, my name is Mariola and on this channel I like to talk about capsule wardrobe, slowing down, creativity instead of getting new stuff. Because style is not about getting more new and trendy, it's about how you wear your clothes. In this video I wanted to talk about something that really gets me excited this winter, something that motivates me something that gives me a lot of ideas to uh, create different outfits and it's neutrals. It's wearing neutrals instead of all black. I know we all love black or most of us love black. I have a lot of black clothes in my wardrobe but this winter I have been really experimenting with my lighter clothes, with my coats, with my uh, shirts, my tops my bags and my shoes. That is a big change for me. I always used to wear just black shoes, uh, made sneakers. That gave me a different perspective and so many new ideas to style my clothes. And I can really see on the street the majority of the color we wear is still black. And I feel like especially in winter we need a boost of energy. We need something to pick us up in the morning and keep us on this level throughout the day. And I hope you agree with me that clothes, our outfits, can really do that. They have power to change our mood. The idea of this video is not just trans transiting, transforming your wardrobe from all black to all neutrals and colors. It's only about introducing some color, letting that little sparkle into your daily outfit, something like maybe just like a white shirt underneath your uh, black jumper or white t-shirt. Uh, but hopefully you can do more than that, you can bring much more uh, light colors, not just with your um, main outfit but with your coats with your um, hat, scarf, etc. I feel like, especially if you don't have many light clothes, the best thing to do is to take one thing, one light thing, for example, a white shirt, a lighter trousers, a gray or beige, even just light shoes. If it's not too cold where you live, maybe white sneakers, and build your outfit around this one item. I think this is the key, because if you start from black trousers, it may be hard to, you know, to go back. You, you go to your comfort zone, your black trousers, maybe your black turtleneck, and what goes with that? Black boots. For example, like me today, uh, this morning I decided I wanted to wear this knitted vest. So I had a choice between my long sleeve uh, silk top and white shirt. And I could go for both, but I feel like white shirt is more because of the difference of the colors, they are not matching, the other top is exactly the same color. So we have some dimension plus, we have the color, we have this, the sleeves that are a bit more voluminous than just a fitted top. So something is going on and of course here I always like to add some volume on my hips. This is perfect um, and this is actually a good tip for you. If you want to balance your silhouette, you have too much on your arms, always add something extra, some wide leg trousers with big pockets, uh, a nice shirt. So this is not part of the lookbook, but I thought I could, I'm already wearing that so I can show you. As I said, a simple look. I'm actually wearing my new favorite earrings from Kos. Absolutely love them. Just have a look at them, really big and chunky. So of course, um, with that, I'm wearing my watch from Nordgreen. You know it very well. Just some bracelet. I don't really need anything here, you can't see it. Um, but and I don't need my belt because again it's unnecessary plus, uh, plus it would build some bulk uh, which I really don't need here um, and yes this is a perfect casual look for me but you could as well wear it uh, in the office it's a really simple this this is all office inspired a white shirt and black trousers if you cold you can still keep the vest if you go into the meeting and you want to look a little bit more presentable 
you can keep your blazer on a side and put your black blazer or whatever blazer you're wearing and you look great in the office so I think this is a really nice uh, outfit you can use for many occasions you can of course wear a jumper over that a beige jumper or if you really want to wear your black jumper you can do that and you will have a really nice contrast with black and white. I'm wearing my beige, uh, well beige, like uh, off-white uh, loafers, which you probably know from uh, last video. And with this outfit, you can of course wear your black coat, which I probably would on one day, on different occasion when I want to wear the same outfit, I could, I would choose a beige coat, maybe my husband's trench coat because it's uh, it's got lining so I could wear it today with that I feel like whatever bag you choose it's gonna look great I could go for this one I think it's a really nice match or just to bring the black from the trousers to the top of the outfit because that's what I like to do I don't like just one black item in my outfit um, I would wear a black bag and this is very much office appropriate unless you have like a really nice uh, big tote uh, for your laptop etc. And this is a simple outfit layered so it's more interesting and it's lighter. First of all your coat is lighter. If you don't have any a winter coat uh, in such color but it's not too too cold you can always wear your puffer jacket underneath your um, trench so uh, you can make it work in winter as well now let's move on to the lookbook and i hope you'll enjoy it uh, let me know in the comment section and subscribe of course uh, that will make me really happy and will help this channel to grow uh, and i see you in the next video I feel like I've been wearing a lot of beige lately, so I wanted to bring back one of my favorite colors, grey, into my daily outfits. Uh, this is a very simple and quite casual look, but because of the different shades of grey, it's still put together and more elevated. I don't have a grey coat in my wardrobe and only for that reason I'm wearing black here. But I think it goes really well together because as we all know, grey is only a lighter shade of black. White sneakers and grey hat take your eye up and down without any interruption. For the second look, I kept my grey trousers and made one of my favourite colour combos with beige jumper. This will always look great as long as you stick to either cool or warm shades. I love this jumper's collar, which allows you to wear a white tank top underneath to add something light and fresh to the look. And I think this is a perfect canvas for a big, chunky, modern silver necklace. This is a very light and very neutral outfit, especially with a long beige coat and a bag. But at the same time, it feels very easy to wear and quite casual. If you want to make a neutral outfit in the winter, a pair of blue jeans is a great start. I don't wear jeans a lot but a wide leg is a silhouette I favor in my wardrobe, so it feels more familiar and easier to style with my clothes. I paired them with my vintage white belt and denim shirt. Now, because this whole denim outfit gives me a very lived-in and casual vibe, I wanted to add something more elevated, and it could be a maxi coat or a faux fur. I know this is a big contrast with sneakers, denim and the black fur, but that's how I like to wear it. That's how I like to ground the whole outfit so it feels more me. I added a cream bag to tie it together with white elements of the shoes, buttons, uh, pearl earrings, but I also wore it with beige accessories on different occasions and I loved it too. Oh, I forgot to mention, this coat has these annoying clip buttons which never stay closed. So I use my crossbody bag to keep my chest covered in the cold. It works and the outfit looks more styled. Win-win. Sticking to the wide leg jeans. Uh, oh, what do you think of them, by the way? In this outfit, I wanted to wear something fitted to balance the trousers. 
but instead of this top you could wear anything in the same color from a merino turtleneck to a chunky wool jumper and you're gonna achieve the same result so this would be my casual look perfect for running errands going to school with girls shopping etc and for all these activities i would keep it uh, with my cropped buffer coat uh, but you could elevate such look uh, with a long wool coat or a trench coat as you can see i'm keeping all details exactly the same in both outfits but it's amazing how an outerwear can change how you look and how you feel and we're back to the beiges i love this match of tailored wool trousers and bold stripes it's so simple yet so expressive by the way, this jumper is from Zalando's own brand. As you may know, I have been trying to find a perfect striped jumper and let me tell you, it's really hard. But I'm very specific about the fit, the length and the sleeves this time. So maybe that's why it's so much harder to find something great. But I like this one, although I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it. The choice of a coat is very simple here. Because of the stripes, I wanted to add more black to tie it all together. I kept all of the accessories in light cream color. And as you can see, we have this yummy sandwich method applied here with white or cream, a theme running through the outfit. Here, uh, the item I'm building the outfit around is this taupe turtleneck. By the way, love it and I think it's a must for winter. A quick tip for you to make your turtleneck look more classy. Instead of rolling it outside as we always do, try tucking it in for more refined and neat look. Because my beige trousers have too warm undertone, I went for the black wide leg pants. But to keep the whole outfit still light and more earthy, I wore this taupe wool coat. And here you can see how simply by swapping accessories you can achieve more relaxed or put together outfit. I love them both and I don't have problem wearing structured bag with sneakers, but maybe because I always try to keep at least one tailored element in my outfit, so it's never too casual. Of course I had to style my white jeans at least once here, but in two different versions. As you can see with this jumper it's all very white and clean very wintry and the first look is for those of you who like to keep all light neutrals together uh, i feel like this outfit is very calm and cozy of course i kept all accessories in a similar palette but the second look is all about contrast in my opinion white jeans look great with black boots you just need to find the right fit and the right length so to bring more black into the outfit and make it more practical, I wore my alpaca coat. I could leave it very monochromatic with white and black accessories, but I decided to warm it up slightly with my beige scarf and my lovely song bag. Another stripy outfit, but very different. This is actually one of my favorites recently. I think it works so well because the stripes are black and white and somehow very modern. This is my All Saints jumper that I cropped recently because it was super long. I took a chance, but I wear it so much more now. Again, because the outfit is light and monochromatic, it has this elongating effect. So I chose a black bag not to distract the eye to the left or right. You can see in this footage from outside that I wore the same outfit with my off-white loafers. The color of the shoes is pretty much the same as the sneakers, but they bring another sartorial element to this outfit and make me love it even more. I really wanted to style this grey cardigan because I feel like I haven't been wearing it lately as much. Paired with blue jeans create a very slouchy and casual outfit. But as you know, I like to add at least one tailored element to my outfit to achieve more polished look. So here with the blazer in the same color, we have more interesting and layered outfit. And of course, more suitable for cold. 
Again, a grey coat would be a perfection here, but I have my beautiful black coat which I accessorized with grey, huge scarf, wrapped around in a very nonchalant manner, uh, plus a grey hat, of course. My last outfit, and I'm cheating here a bit, because blue is not technically neutral, but it is my favourite colour, and it's the colour of the sky most days. Uh, so I say it is neutral. Now I'm gonna say I just love this combination of blue and grey, but specifically this shade of grey. And the belt. This is a canvas grey belt I got in a charity shop for a pound a while ago and I think it works in this outfit. If you love neutrals like me and you're trying to add some colour to your wardrobe, Take just one colourful element and pair it with more subtle colours like grey, beige or even white. Black is an obvious choice, but it can be too harsh. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye!